Boujou, Kinamagi Ireland, Dejnikas, and welcome to this overview of our week 30 learning plan. We'll begin our week 30 learning plan in our classroom stream. And just as a reminder, students have access to this at all times. Uh, for you to see it, you just need to sit down with your student. Uh, we include a daily schedule, so you have an idea what time we're doing each subject. It is slightly subject to change depending on events in the classroom, but this will give you an idea if your student's learning from home. You know, quick access to my email. I do appreciate when students send me an email when they have a question or even just a reply. And I do have a number for texting if you need to get a hold of me. This will come right to my phone and I do reply to those at all times during the school day and at selected times over the weekend. You can see that we have our learning plan. This is the week 29. When it'll be up here for a couple more days, you know, come down this weekend. Our most recent newsletter, um, new edition coming next week. Information on Mount Pleasant Public Schools. And we'll probably touch on that during our newsletter and definitely in this video next week. There will be more or another copy of information going home to, for you to enroll your student in Mount Pleasant Public Schools for their sixth grade school year. Now, if you're sending your student to one of our other local schools, you don't need to return it. Uh, I'll probably be checking in with parents when we get the uh, parent teacher conferences. If you have one of these papers and they were pink um, and it's filled out, please return it um, either to the school office in Mount Pleasant or you can send it with your student back to me and I will make sure it makes it to Mount Pleasant Public Schools. The quicker you get that in, the better. Like I said, we'll talk about that once we have our parent teacher conferences. Um, those have not been Individual conferences have not been scheduled, but it is definitely something we'll talk about. And then some links if you would like your a delivery for uh, Miss Bridget's delectable cooking um, from, from our youth from ages zero to 18. All you have to do is fill out this form right there. So let's go into our week 30 document. There we go. You'll notice that our school day is from 7.45 to three o'clock, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. On Wednesdays, we do our live stream from 7.45 to 11.15. I dismiss students by 11.15 as a number of students are enrolled in our Project Awares program. And this allows students to easily transition from my part of the day to the project aware part of the day. It is important that students, however, do attend the academic part of the day um, as it is a required part of their academics and there is teaching and learning to be expected on Wednesdays. I do not do a optional Wednesday. Just too much to learn and not enough time before we send them off to middle school. Reading this week, we'll be looking at a story called No More Super Size Sodas as we continue in our nonfiction texts and an issue of Scholastic. Writing this week, you're gonna see it looks a little different. We have a couple days with opinion writing as we try to spiral around and make sure students are completely ready to take those skills to the next level, aka middle school. A couple days with Writing City, and one day that I call it poetry, but it's really those creative writing skills that are useful to them down the road, and we'll be focusing on onomatopoeia. Some of you may know the song of that title, and it may be in your head now like it is mine. In math, we will have a quiz on or assessment on Tuesday. We will review for that on Monday. And then we'll move into chapter 10, which will be multiplying and dividing fractions. 
Science, we're looking at Mystery 3 is our next section with an issue of Science Spin in the middle. Social Studies, we're continuing our study of the lead up to the Constitution. We've moved through the Articles of Confederation and now we'll be moving into the Art, the Constitutional Convention. Math review this week includes word and expanded form and multiplying and dividing by powers of 10. Our enrichment includes parallel and perpendicular lines and classifying quadrilaterals. Technology, two days with 21 things for students. And then we also have our typing, tech choice and code.org. Our web based work, and these are a lot of the things that used to be the independent work in the past, includes map skills, words their way, which is our spelling program, citizenship, ST math, reading for 20 minutes, and handwriting. Each of these things, all with the intent of providing our students with as well-rounded of an education as possible and having them ready on day one in the fall. And we do have office hours, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 310 to 330 via Zoom. I'm aware that students obviously are just getting off buses and may not necessarily get to it. On Wednesday, there is no formal office hours scheduled as most of our students are enrolled in the Project AWARE program. However, I am available uh, all afternoon. You can just send me a either a phone call or an email. Um, if a student is at home and needs some extra help, I'm more than happy to throw together a Zoom and give them any assistance that they need. But there won't be formal, here's what time to log in. If you have any questions, please do reach out to me at mireland at psychchipschool.net. Send me a text message at 989-750-1640, or you can reach me at the school um, prior to 8 a.m. and after 3 p.m. During the middle of the day, I am available for emergencies, but there's a lot of teaching going on and it's easier to reach in those outside hours. I hope everyone has a great weekend and we look forward to seeing you all on Monday. Have a minogiji god, minwa, pamapi.